Psalm 63, 3-5 uh, reads, Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. If I'm honest, I'd have to say, I want to want him more than I do. I want to want him more than I want anything else in this world. But it's hard because there's so many things in this life pulling at our desires, tricking us into thinking this will satisfy, that'll satisfy. If I could just do this, if I could just do that, if I could see this happen in my life, if I could build this thing, if I succeeded at this, I would be satisfied. But we know that's not true. I mean, deep down, you know, that's not true. Only the Lord can truly satisfy. He is the source. He's the one. You know, in Psalms where it says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. The point of that is, is that he's the desire of your heart. <laughs> so he's going to delight you in him because you ask for more of him. You want more of him, you're going to get it. I want to want more of him than I do now. Uh, Philippians 2.13 says, that it's God in you, giving you the desire and the power to do the things that please him. Think about how much grace is in that verse. Think about that. He gives you the want to that you don't have yet, the desire that you don't have yet. You look at people and you go, man, like I do sometimes, I go, wow, I wish I prayed like that. I wish I fasted like that. Why? Man, that person loves God so much. I wish I was more like them. And we disqualify ourselves because we think we don't want it that much. But you see, it's God that gives us that desire. It's God that gives us that power. I remember being uh, a meth addict when I was younger and getting radically saved. And the Holy Spirit breathed into me this truth. He said, Stephen, you won't do it, I'll do it. <laughs> and I took God at his word. When I gave my life to Jesus, I took God at his word. I believed him, he gave me the power and that hasn't changed. It's still the same today. It's still the same for all of us. God is the one that gives us the power to see things out, right? I didn't have that kind of willpower. Only the Lord could do that. So as we go into this new year, or really whatever day it is, whatever season you're going into, the most honest thing you can pray is to say, God, I want to want you more than anything else. I want to desire you above all things to only be satisfied by you, God. Our hearts have been broken. Your heart has been broken so many times because we want after things that really can't satisfy, things we think will satisfy. He is the source. He is the one who satisfies. So don't feel disqualified today because your desires are not as holy as you wish they were. Because you can go to him and ask for the desire that you don't have yet and the power that comes from him to do the things that he has called for you to live out in your life. I love you guys. I'm praying anybody that watches this, we are in this together. Lord, give us the desire to want you more than anything else this world has to offer.